Elon Musk's brain chip company Neuralink is in serious trouble. We'll discuss why in today's video. Elon seems to have a lot on his plate. It seems like almost every day we hear some news from his end about a lawsuit or his spaceship exploding. There's also always a scandal around his personal life. But this time around, it's Neuralink that's in trouble. Make sure you stay till the end of the video to find out all about it. So here's what's happening. Elon Musk's Neuralink is in serious trouble. So here's what's up. The brain chip manufacturer is in trouble. But there's three reasons, not just one. Musk is a pretty busy man. He's running Tesla, his profitable business, which enables him to dive into other ventures. Elon's working on a space company, a tunneling company, and a brain chip company on the side. Now he's facing the whole thing with Twitter, with the lawsuits and whatnot. Splitting his focus into so many things means that some of his businesses might have to suffer. After Tesla, his space exploration company, SpaceX, is showing the most promise. But more on that later. As far as Neuralink is concerned, things might might still have been manageable if they had maybe one or two issues at most. But nope, they're facing three key problems. First, Paul Marola has left the company. He was the one who co-founded the company. Now six of the original eight founders have exited the company. That dealt a huge blow to the team over at the company. Secondly, Synchron, Neuralink's main competitor, has implanted its first device into a human, while Elon's company hasn't even received FDA approval to begin doing that. Lastly, the company is facing claims of animal cruelty. Yikes, what else did we miss. All right, let's talk about reason number one. Neuralink's co-founder leaves. As we just mentioned, Paul Marola has left the company. Marola helped launch the company back in 2016. He also worked on its chip design. As of right now, there's no information as to why he left or what his future career plans are. But this has dealt a huge blow to the company. Not only have they lost someone who knows the ins and outs of the company and was smart enough to work on their chip, but their competitors might now gain him. Although it's not clear why he left, it does show things are not not going as great at the tech startup. His departure brings a sense of upheaval to the company. His expertise was in chip design. People with his skills aren't that easy to replace. Not only that, but of the original three founders, only Elon Musk now remains with the company. And of the eight co-founders, only Musk and Dong Jin Xiao remain. Although it's not that uncommon for the top batch of employees to leave a company, Neuralink has lost so many people without ever bringing a product to the market. The problem is that Neuralink's competitors are working hard, as will elaborate on now. Synchron is already doing human testing. Hodak is an investor in the company, and he just might try to employ Morella. Well, that's not so bad, right? Well, dear viewer, get this. Hodak was founded by Max Hodak. Who's Max Hodak? One of the original Neuralink founders. So either Morella could end up joining Hodak or Synchron, or he could make his own company. Whatever the case, it's not looking so good for the Tesla genius, Musk. But that's just one of the problems facing the company right now. Let's move on to the next. Folks, the second reason is their competitor and its most recent achievements. Before we get started on this, let's take just a few seconds to discuss Synchron. The company was founded in 2012, four years before Neuralink. The company is doing some amazing work. They've developed an endovascular brain-computer interface that can be used to access every corner of our brain using our blood vessels. This will help in the treatment of several neurological diseases. With that out of the way, let's discuss what they recently just did that has overshadowed Musk's company. Synchron has has managed to implant a device into the brain of a U.S.-based patient. In this case, the patient has ALS, which is a neurodegenerative disease that's affected the patient's ability to move and speak. ALS is a deadly disease. Stephen Hawking suffered from ALS. The hope for this chip is that the patient will be able to browse the web and communicate via text and email by just thinking. This chip would translate the patient's thoughts and send commands to the computer. The company has already implanted its devices in four patients in Australia. These folks have had no side effects, and they can now send messages through WhatsApp. They can also make online purchases. Synchron got its FDA approval in July 2021 to begin human trials of its Stentrode device. The Stentrode is a device that can be inserted into the brain without cutting through the skull or tissue. Once the device is implanted, it can read the signal produced by the neurons in the brain and send the signal to a computer or phone through Bluetooth. Meanwhile, Musk's Neuralink is working on developing a surgical robot robot to implant its small device. Their device would then filter out signals on the embedded computer chips. This is not Synchron's first device, though. They have had a device called the Utah Array, a microelectrode array technology that is a small silicone square with 100 needles. These are pushed into the brain and relay electrical signals, but the technology is a 90s tech and covers only a fraction of the brain's 86 million neurons. That's why Elon Musk now must worry about Synchron. He should be even more worried if Paul Morello
Costello ends up going there. Musk may be a genius according to some, but he just can't seem to work his magic with this complicated company. Lastly, Neuralink is facing animal cruelty claims. As if the first two things weren't enough, Musk is now facing more trouble with animal cruelty claims. Neuralink primarily tests on monkeys. A complaint filed with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, also known as USDA, states that Macau monkeys are being treated cruelly to conduct the company's tests. Well, as expected, the company denies these claims. They've said that they work with these monkeys in the most humane and ethical way possible. But the folks who submitted the complaint have stated that the monkeys experience extreme suffering as a result of inadequate animal care and the highly invasive experimental head implants during the experiments. They've also claimed that out of 23 monkeys, only 7 have survived, while 15 died. Neuralink, on the other hand, claims that only 8 were euthanized. It has made great strides with their experiments, though. Earlier in the year 2021, the company even released a video of a monkey playing a video game on a computer. Musk stated earlier that they'll be testing on humans by 2021. Looks like that isn't happening anytime soon. And although the first two blows have been stronger, this too isn't a good look for the company. Animal cruelty is a serious accusation that can tank the public opinion of the company. All in all, that's not all that's happening in Musk's life. He's an extremely controversial figure. Some of his deals, we're looking at you, Twitter, haven't gone down as he expected them to. Tesla stock is down, and his personal life seems to be a mess. Well, we guess that's what happens when you try to do too many things at once. Let's talk about some of the other issues he's facing. Let's also talk about some of his wins. Now in other news, let's talk about a lawsuit Elon's been facing. Elon Musk is being sued by Twitter for trying to pull out of a $44 billion bid to buy Twitter. He planned to purchase the social media platform, but then decided just not to do it because that's who he is. Okay, we're kidding. He pulled out because of a disagreement on the number of bots on Twitter. Musk claims that the number exceeds 20%. Twitter claims that the number is less than 5%. Now, Twitter is suing him because they claim he's trying to bring down the value of the company so he can purchase it for cheaper. Out of the evidence brought forward against him, one of them is even a poop emoji tweet he sent out to the company's CEO. Looks like he's having to face the consequences of his actions. Now, let's talk about some good news. SpaceX, another one of Elon's ventures, has successfully docked at the ISS. The point of this flight was to bring supplies to the ISS and then bring research back to Earth. This seems like a major win for the billionaire's company, and this means he's on track to fulfilling his dream of a colony on Mars. The cargo included NASA's climate instrument, which will be mounted to the ISS for about a month. Then it will be used to bring research back to Earth. Lastly, Ford's trying to catch up to Tesla. Turns out that Synchron is not the only competitor Musk needs to worry about. Now Ford is trying cheaper EV batteries to stay competitive and catch up to the company. They've stated that they will be importing low-cost lithium-ion batteries for pickup trucks and SUVs SUVs from China. They'll be purchasing from the king of Chinese batteries, CATL, and they also aim to have a wider array of deals with these folks to secure their next decade. Well, that's all we have for you today. Do you think that Neuralink stands a chance against Synchron? Let us know all your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye.